is a book launch of a book called Inside Out. It's a book of poetry by a woman whose name was Marilyn Buck. Marilyn Buck spent almost half of her life behind bars in the United States due to her political activity. She was a political prisoner and she died almost exactly two years ago. She died on August 3rd in 2010 of a very, vir a very uh, aggressive cancer that developed while she was in prison and like all prisoners in prison she received next to no adequate health care until it was too late. And we're having this event as part of a week against prisons because whereas some people do get sent to prison like Marilyn did, like people are now in the context of the student strike here in Quebec, like people have been sent to prison in the context of the G20 resistance that happened two years ago in Ontario, most people are sent to prison for other reasons. It's just a part of like the ongoing patriarchal class colonial structures grinding people down and prison is one Place that people end up and we decided because prisons are becoming such uh, such an important site of conflict and of resistance especially with Stephen Harper's new crime bill with the expansion of prisons in Canada we decided to have a week against prisons. I dream of Dresden, Hanoi, Baghdad. Whistles scream, walls fall apart in waves. Dali deserts, watches tick, water drip. Dreams shift. Swords of steel glint against the sky, a swarm and puff, dark blood drops, bituminous birds bank, spread eagle free fall, ashes, ashes, they all fall down dark flashes, cherry splashes on concrete, babel towers collapse in crying peaks, a curtain rises gray, covers gladiators draped across the stage. Thirteen springs, had you planted a tree to fill in the deep well of my absence, that tree would be 13 springs high, high enough to relieve the relentless sun of incarceration, strong enough to bear the weight of children who might have been born had I not been seized from your life and plunged into this acid-washed grip of perpetual loss and high-wired vigilance. I work with the Life After Life Collective, which is a work action group that's a part of the 2110 Center for Gender Advocacy, as well as uh, with QPIRG uh, McGill. And basically we work with formerly incarcerated uh, girls and women, and we're also open to trans, non-gender conforming people uh, here in Montreal. We're a new collective. We're like the new kids on the block. The Life After Life Collective is, uh, is actually having a transformative justice workshop, and basically it's an interactive workshop to discuss a community accountability and transformative justice. That, this approach basically is a way in which communities can get together and start talking about interpersonal violence, the violence that you know we do to each other, the violence that happens in our families, in our homes, whether we're talking about child abuse, domestic violence, gay bashing, racist violence, etc. How can we basically start to create a community that, that can deal with the harm without over-relying on other systems of punishment? The calendar, which is, is the 2012 um, the 2012 calendar is right here, the 2011 calendar also. You can feel free to pick up free copies. Uh, it's a project that's been around for over a decade, and it is um, based out of a collaboration between three political prisoners in New York State um, and an outside collective here in Montreal and in Toronto. So the calendars go into prison, and calendars are a way that we mark time. Calendars are a way that we track the passing of days and I think for people who are in prison, that is a very significant thing that we need to uh, pay attention to in our own lives here and what it means to be living on the outside.